Let's solve this together. It says m plus n is equal to 2 and m n is equal to 0. Right? So for the value of m and n in this equation. Okay. First things first, let's call this equation 1 and call this equation 2. Okay. Now we say from equation 1 or from equation 2 rather. Okay. So from equation 2, we have that n is equal to 2 over m. Okay. Now from here we can substitute n as 2 over m in equation 1. So we have m plus 2 over m, which is n, is equal to 2. Multiplying each term here by n, we have, sorry, by m rather, we have m squared plus 2 is equal to 2m. From here we now have that m squared minus 2m plus 2 is equal to 0. Again, this cannot be solved with the normal formula of the quadratic equation. We have to use the quadratic formula to solve it. Quadratic formula states that m here will be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now our a here is the equation of m squared which is 1, b is the equation of m which is negative 2 and c is the constant term which is 2. So we have that our m here will become equal to negative 2 times minus is 2 plus or minus square root of negative 2 squared is 4 minus 4 times 2 is 8 all over 2 times 1 which is 2 and this is equal to 2 plus or minus root of negative 4 all over 2. So moving on from here we now have that our m becomes equal to from here we say 2 plus or minus root of 4 is empty as 2 times i okay all over 2 so m becomes equal to 1 plus minus i okay so we divide 2 and divide 2 so we have 1 plus or minus i is equal to m but recall that we say n is equal to 2 over m so we have that when m is 1 plus i we have that our n is now equal to 2 divided by 1 plus i okay from here we now have that this is equal to i is root of negative 1 okay so we have 2 divided by 1 plus i Okay, like this. Now let's rationalize this denominator by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. Okay, so the conjugate of this is this. Multiply each of these by this. So we have this to be equal to 2 into, okay, so 2 into 1 minus i divided by 1 squared is 1 minus i squared is minus 1. Okay, so this is 1 plus 1. Hence, from here, our n now becomes equal to 2 into 1 minus i divided by 2. So our n becomes equal to 1 minus i when m is equal to 1 plus i. Hence, invariably, it means that when m or when n is equal to 1 plus i, m is equal to 1 minus i. Okay? So these are the two answers or the four answers for n and m in this question. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video.